Hello everyone, it's No from the Kangrizans. You know, for some time now I've received a ton of requests to showcase my various Star Wars collections, whether it be action figures, building sets, novels and other bits and bobs. So after years of somewhat dodging the question, I finally decided to show you all my assortment of LEGO Star Wars minifigures. However, rather than going through every single character because no explanation needed, I thought it would be a cool little idea to show you my awesome and not so awesome figures. Without any further ado, here are some of the best and worst Star Wars minifigures LEGO has to offer. We kick off today's video with a figure that somehow managed to top the First Order Flame Trooper, the Shore Trooper from Rogue One, the Imperial Snow Trooper, and also the Kashyyyk esque uh, Scout Trooper. Now, you could tell I'm a fiend for helmets, just unique helmets. I, I just I just fall for them, they're awesome. But what sets the Senate Commando apart is the blue, and maybe I'm being a bit biased here, but blue is my favourite colour. And also the white markings. He just looks like a badass. He looks very ceremonial and he's someone that I just have to have at the very front of my display shelf. <sighs> this figure legitimately gets me down. You can clearly tell when they were designing Count Dooku's Solar Sailor, they had this one minifigure to complete. And what do you know? It was Friday night, it was 5 o'clock, everyone was wanting to go home and they didn't have a head, so what do they do? They just stick a skeleton's foot on it and I guess no one will notice. Well, guess what? I noticed. But if the head wasn't bad enough, the legs are also extremely wrong. If you, I don't know if you've ever seen Count Dooku's pilot, but it, it doesn't have those legs. This figure just doesn't look like a Star Wars character. It just doesn't, it just doesn't look good, let's be fair. Now, this might surprise some of you, but when The Phantom Menace came out, I was only around four or five years old, meaning I actually enjoyed the film. And I remember two things sticking out. A, Darth Maul, who very nearly made today's video, because look at him, he's awesome, he has horns, any one of horns is cool in my book but also droidicas. Now because when you're a kid you don't have much money, you can't get awesome sets, you know, until until Christmas or whatever. Let's be fair, if you do have money and you're a kid then, is there something you're doing on the side that we should maybe know about? Anyway, I made my very own droidica and here it is. Now, hold your applause. I'm joking, this is, this is awful. <laughs> it's like the Mega Bloks version, isn't it? Uh, no, a, a better, a, a better example. This is you. And this is the guy she tells you not to worry about. So, I mean, A for creativity, but the actual real deal droidica, what more is there to say? I can even roll about, it just looks like a badass. We finish off today's little look at the best and worst Star Wars figures with a figure that somehow managed to defeat the First Order crewman. Uh, without the helmet, this figure's fine. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it looks good. It looks like a normal officer or whatever. But look at that helmet. Overkill comes to mind. Also, how do you see? Do you have tinted glass panes? I don't know. Anyway, that's not our worry. What is our worry is less A-wing pilot. Now, there's a reason why I'm showing you from the torso down. Because his face is horrifying. Uh, you can clearly tell this, this it's kind of similar to the the pilot droid I showed you earlier. They had budget cuts maybe, I don't know, but they gave us the classic 1980s spaceman face. Uh, you know the face I'm on about. Well, you know the face I'm on about because you're looking at that face. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a fun fact actually, I showed my brother this figure yesterday preparing for today's video and he legitimately thought this was from the 80s. You should have seen a shock when I told him it was from like that 2010 Mon Calamari set, uh, Home 1 Mon Calamari Cruiser. But uh, yeah, it's, everything about the figure's cool, but the face, it just lets it down, doesn't it? And that's why it makes the not-so-awesome list. 
So there we have it, a brief glimpse into my LEGO Star Wars minifigure collection. But now I want to see from you. Yes, you heard right. Not too long ago I came across an online community and marketplace for serious collectors called Gemmer. To be honest, I was blown away by how easy it was to categorise and definitively showcase my multiple collections. Because, you know, collecting can get a bit messy. Not only that, Gemmer have kindly offered to sponsor this very YouTube channel. So if you check out the link on screen, which I'll also have in the description, and go through the sign up process, you can discover unique items, display your own collections, discuss all of your interests, and even buy and sell. What's more, you can follow me to check out my LEGO Star Wars minifigure collection in its entirety. The site and the iOS and Android app, which is usually my preferred mode of using the platform, are completely free to use. However, by using the link down below, you will be helping out this channel. Once again, go crazy with all your own collections and clubs. Make sure to come and say hi, and thanks for watching.